What's up, Maniacs? My name is Max. I'm a wrestling fan, wrestling enthusiast, a WrestleManiac, if you will. And today we are here to talk about Carmelo Hayes winning the NXT North American Championship. Yes, the match was between Swerve Scott and Santos Escobar. But after Swerve Scott retained in a fantastic match, we saw Carmelo Hayes activate this contract that he won after winning the NXT breakout tournament basically used it as money in the bank and cashed in on Swerve Scott after he had retained the championship and Carmelo Hayes ended NXT as the North American champion. We're going to talk about it in just a second, so stay tuned. Right here at WrestleMania UK, I discuss everything that's WWE and AEW. So if this sounds like the place for you, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time I drop a new video ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's get into it carmelo hayes is the new nxt north american champion So like I said, we actually had a blockbuster of a match between Santos Escobar and Swerve Scott. These two, every time they're put into this situation, they have fantastic matches. We've seen it for the Cruiserweight title. We've seen it just in their faction warfare that they've been having. And now we're seeing it for the North American Championship. Earlier on in the night, we saw that Santos Escobar and the Garza del Fantasma, they actually kidnapped the members of Hit Row, left Swerve Scott alone. However, Santos Escobar said that he's going to come out one on one against Swerve Scott and again they put on a brilliant match later on in the match we did see the Legado del Fantasma guys and girls get involved try to give Santos Escobar that one leg up against Swerve Scott but that's when Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams came out to defend Swerve Scott and I can't lie I thought what's this black people helping black people cool all right then let's do it because other than that what relationship do they have none and I did have in the back of my mind well Carmelo Hayes does have this contract but are they going to use it like money in the bank swerve scott went on to beat santos escobar brilliant brilliant match like i said carmelo hayes slides into the ring to celebrate with swerve scott swerve scott is a bit apprehensive when carmelo hayes is lifting his arm and all of that and then we see a big clothesline carmelo hayes takes off his hat takes off his little shirt and he takes out a pen signs the contract and hands it to the referee and says we're doing this right now so yes he used the contract like money in the bank and cashed in to get his opportunity at the North American champion while Swerve was obviously just recovering from having a grueling match after retaining the championship. It wasn't long as obviously Swerve had just had a match two to three minutes later, Carmelo Hayes was the NXT North American champion. When Carmelo shoots, he doesn't miss. Now, I do have some thoughts on this. I do think this is the beginning of, you know, NXT 2.0 in terms of us seeing the newer guys get their hands on championships. This is the first, if you like. And you know what? Carmelo Hayes is completely ready for this position. The pairing with Trick Williams, I'm still, you know, reserving my judgment for it. I'm not sure how necessary it was, but Carmelo Hayes in ring is more than ready for this position. He can go with guys like Swerve Scott, Santos Escobar, and all of these other kind of people. So they've already solved the dilemma in not sending Swerve Scott to SmackDown with this championship. They're keeping in NXT and Carmelo Hayes is the new champion. Now I can't help but not bring up the fact you have this contract, which means you're guaranteed any title match in NXT, doesn't really make sense why you wouldn't go for the top title the nxt title we saw jordan miles aka ach do this when he had it a couple years back against adam cole when adam cole was champion it just makes sense that you would go after the top top championship but i mean i guess you kind of cut your cloth according to your size and he went after one where you know he thought he could win given the opportunity he cashed in more or less straight after a match also another thing which i don't think is very clear and i'm maybe not a bit too happy on is the fact he used this contract just like money in the bank now if you want to give nxt a money in the bank match just give them a money in the bank match like why are we calling this an nxt breakout tournament guaranteeing them a contract but you're using it very similar to how money in the bank is used this should have been literally i'm coming out swerve to challenge you next week and they still have that one more nxt show before they get to smackdown like 
so they could have taken this belt off Swerve next week if they really wanted to um, through Carmelo Hayes cashing in. However, they've chose to do it this way. I can't lie, this was very exciting. It was, you know, kind of like, oh my God, he's doing it sort of thing. And yeah, you had that kind of money in the bank cash in feel. But um, yeah, I just feel like it doesn't differentiate the two very well. And again, like I say, why wouldn't you just go after the top championship on the brand? Anyway, like I say, Carmelo Hayes is more than ready for this position. The change of attitude since Trick Williams came around has definitely helped. So I guess Trick Williams has been good for something. Is the pairing necessary? I still don't know. We'll wait and see how it kind of turns out over time. But yeah, Carmelo Hayes is definitely one of the leaders of the new school. You can see that now they've trusted him with one of the top championships there. And yeah, we're going to see how this run is going to develop. Hit Row are now surely on their way to SmackDown. We won't see them again on NXT. I doubt very much we'll see them next week. And Santos Escobar, I guess he's going to have something to say to Carmelo Hayes for attacking his cronies when they try to help him win the match. Hopefully that plays out pretty well. And there will be other contenders that they will build up around the mid-card area on NXT 2.0 to challenge Carmelo Hayes. So that should be fun too. But guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Carmelo Hayes' new NXT north american champion let me know your thoughts about it and let me know what you think of them using this contract as a bit of a money in the bank situation it'll be good to hear other people's thoughts on it if you enjoyed today's video remember to smash the like button give us the thumbs up and if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time i drop a new video wrestlemaniac uk signing out and i'll see you soon